Factsverse presents An apartment was abandoned in 1939, and you won't believe what was found 70 years later. When something is unearthed after not being seen for decades, the find is often interesting and pretty amazing. In most cases, the things that are unearthed are simply an old trunk or a suitcase. Well, this find was much more than that. It's an apartment, and the apartment has not been opened since 1939, and when it was, everybody was surprised to find what was in there. How about you surprise us and click that like button? And also, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. That way you'll be surprised when we upload new videos. The apartment we're talking about was owned by a woman named Mrs. DeFlorian, and she lived in this apartment for a few years when the Second World War was about to break out. Well, she left for the south of France, and she left her apartment behind. At the time, she was only in her 30s. The apartment was left untouched for seven decades. It wasn't discovered until three years after Mrs. De Florian passed away at the age of 91. She never returned to her own apartment, and nobody had ever set foot inside it since she left. The apartment is located near a church in the French capital's ninth arrondissement. It's located between Pigal Red Light District and Opera. When the apartment was discovered, it was up to the experts to take a full inventory of the woman's possessions. When one of the experts, Oliver Chopin Jeanvry, walked into the apartment, he compared it to stumbling into the castle of Sleeping Beauty. He mentioned the smell of old dust in the apartment. He says walking through the apartment and documenting everything, it was pretty amazing because nobody had been there in 70 years. It wasn't until he uncovered one specific item, though, that his heart actually skipped a beat. It was a gorgeous tableau of a woman wearing an evening dress. The painting was done by 19th-century Italian artist Giovanni Baldini. The subject of the painting was a beautiful French woman who was the artist's muse and the apartment owner's grandmother, Martha de Florian. She was a French actress and a socialite. Martha de Florian had a very long list of admirers in her day. In fact, a large box filled with love letters tied neatly in a ribbon was found in the apartment. The 72nd Prime Minister of France, George Clemenceau, had written love letters that were found in the box. The artist himself, Giovanni Baldini, had also written love letters that were saved and still in pristine condition. When Chopin Genvry first discovered the painting, he wasn't sure who painted it because there was no record of the painting existing. There was no book that mentioned the tableau, and it was never exhibited. Finally, when he found a love note from Baldini to this woman, his muse, he got the evidence he needed. Finally, he found a reference to the work by the artist's widow. According to the book, it was painted in 1898 when Mr. Florian was 24 years old. When they finally had proof of who the painting was done by, they put it up for auction. The starting price for the painting was 253,000 pounds. It was a very popular item, and it went up in price as 10 bidders tried to win. Again, remember, we started at 250,000 pounds. By the end of the auction, the painting sold for 1.78 million pounds, a world record for this particular artist. While the painting was the most expensive item that was sold at the auction that day, the rest of the contents from this woman's apartment sold at the auction, and each one of the items was very well preserved since nobody had entered the apartment for 70 years. The objects had been frozen in time, they were in great condition. A few other objects that sold at the auction were very early versions of a stuffed Mickey Mouse and a stuffed Porky Pig. There was also a stuffed, life-sized ostrich in the apartment. When antique collectors heard about the apartment and the auction, they rushed out in droves to get their hands on the antique furniture in the apartment. The chairs, the tables, bookshelves in the apartment, they were all one-of-a-kind finds. But it was the antique makeup table that had the most antique collectors fighting to the end. It's not very often you find a place frozen in time like this apartment was. It was a major discovery, and plenty of wonderful things came out of it. Subscribe for more!